what interests me about science fiction music is from the early days, you know, um, it, it was experimental immediately. Not that orchestral scores weren't, um, or, you know, the more traditional scores weren't experimental, but um, it allowed people like Louis and B.B. Barron to make the, um, the music, or they, they weren't allowed to call it music in those days, for Forbidden Planet. And, um, and they were, you know, exceptionally talented, um, innovative, People who really had just done music with art films, and you know, and and then suddenly we were introduced to this fantastic electronic score, you know, made of circuits that were burning out and old tape loops and stuff. Um, and that, you know, the, and and for me also, you know, being in England, um, radiophonic workshop stuff that you heard around that kind of eerie, spooky kind of thing. Um, and and then you know, um, theremin. I didn't know what a theremin was, but I certainly knew the sound of it, you know. Um, it, it was the experimental nature of it and the darkness of it as well, generally. The kind of orchestration was dark sounding, minor key, droney, eerie, you know, immediately attracted me. <laughs> 